Let me say this as well. Under the city ordinance, the mayor will wait. We'll wait until um, Councilman Davis with being in This city is totally against the government that has created havoc in this city, has caused legionnaire in children, has people carrying cases of water to their homes, but this administration continues to run this issue to the same government that has poisoned this city. Are you willing and I don't to take understand a why do we continue to involve the government you who to is totally against this city from the residents' right field. Why do we keep doing this? Are why do so we keep arguing over this? See, I'm re looking clearly what's happening. When you look at the bigger picture, you got a different treatment. You got folks calling people bullies, harassing, making personal attacks. Then you got Miss Fields pulling a rule out of the pocket that ain't relevant for somebody else, but let's say it is relevant. Then we gonna come back and see what happens with her being removed on the vote of this same council for calling me the most racist person she ever met. We gonna see if it's another vote to remove Ms. Worthing for keep calling me names and adjectives. So the big picture is, let's get ready to rumble. Because the minute it happened, that's gonna be the big- Point of order, I believe What's let's get ready to rumble is an intimidation and threat, which is against the rules. I can find it and read it if you like. No, I don't want to do that because we've got three more speakers and we got a meeting to proceed with. Let me say this, Mr. President. Let's get ready to and rumble. You're ruling on the point of order, Mr. Chair. Yeah, Mr. Mays, would you not rumble with her? No, or Mr. Either, Mr. Or Mr. Make President. Her, politically, I'm in a political gotcha. arena. Gotcha. It's a political rumble. Just because okay. you say rumble or do something like that, you're in a political arena. They're not going to pump me out. I will try to beat them, recall them, rumble, politic, win votes. I ain't stunned Kate Fields and them trying to paint me as a pitcher. And I'm hearing people out in the audience from the same culture like, oh, that mean I'm scared. He finna do something. I've been in council meeting for 30 years. And they not going to characterize my words talking politics to a threat. And if you go for that, I'm tripping off of you. This is stupid. I just we want are, to wrap up, Mr. Yeah, Mayor. but I'm no, y'all thought that. you said don't get ready to rumble. We are rumbling. This is a rumble. It's in the middle of the business of the city. It's resolution. It's a motion to put me out my seat. This is a rumble. And when Miss Kate Fields say point of order, and I see folks from the same persuasion, no, yep, it is, it is, it is, like it's a threat. Point of order. What's your point? He is mocking Ms. Fields, again, okay. against the rules. Okay. Uh, Mr. President, I got the right to argue my point on a serious. But can I, I, and I got you, I, I'm there, but can I get you to wrap up? Because we, we really got some stuff to do here, because, you know. Well, let's see vote. how the vote gonna go when okay. I wrap up. When I wrap up and this vote goes south, then I'm gonna say, why he interfered with me to wrap up and didn't interfere with Ms. Galloway and them as they try to make their points for their crew. Well, I try to listen This is a serious motion for me, Mr. President. Point of information. What's your point? Um, does Councilman Mays realize that I don't have a crew? <laughs> <laughs> What's your point, Ms. Fields? The point of order is you have totally lost control of this meeting. You've lost track of how many points of order, what the- I ain't lost track, not man. Yo, you out of order, Set, but you be quiet. I'm, I'm recognizing your point, and I'm denying your point. I ain't lost Mr. control. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, I want her out of here. Mr. Metcalf, I want her out of here. I want them out. They think this meeting is out of control. It's cost of three of you. You ain't got the flow. You ain't got the flow. You can't just holler out, call for the question. And they, hold up, you out of order. I can't, I can't. This ain't no game. This ain't no game. Y'all done true, y'all, y'all want to say he done lost control. I'm in control. That's why y'all ain't in control. But you want to be in control. You want to be in control of something you ain't in control of. You make the rules, and then you don't want to live up to them. Y'all all hopping up. Sit back down, Eva. Oh my 
It's crazy, the three of y'all. And three of y'all ain't finna run this. And y'all all three acting the same. Now you're gonna say you done lost control. I ain't lost control. What's your point? Councilman Mays, can we get to the vote? You got an appeal. And we're gonna get to the vote. If the chair say enough is enough, remove them, that's what he waiting for. And he rightfully so. Because we discussed it. I want them gone. Eva and her and now you. Three of y'all. And y'all better pray and hope this appeal don't win because if he hear it win or lose, y'all gone. But whether this appeal win or lose, five people on this council better get some backbone. Five people better get some backbone. Because I'm here to tell you, Kate Fields, and Worthy, y'all not going to make a farce out of this proceeding. I don't care what you care about me and the president meeting. I don't care what you care about the charter being messed up. A resolution going to come. And y'all done fought it. Point of information. What's your point? Councilman Mays, is what you're talking about germane to the appeal? That was my it point. Y'all thought it was when they was talking about it. No. Now you got a double standard. You even no. talked about the president. When I asked you a point of information, you was talking about me and the president meeting in the middle of an appeal. So, yeah, it's no. Jermaine. No. Miss Galloway, you out of order, interrupting me, talking about no. You want to have a dialogue more so than a point of information, you ain't got the flow. You ain't got the flow. You ain't got the flow. You was talking in an appeal about me and the president meeting. Yeah, Miss Galloway's, can you sit and be quiet? You want two warning? You got two. What's your point? Councilman Mays, do you remember that you finished speaking after Mr. Guerra had Miss Fields withdraw her appeal? And then you got the floor back as soon as you finished. Do you remember that you said, Miss Galloway, and I'm going to work through Miss Miss Worthing and Miss Your Field. question is long. I do remember everything that didn't happen. When she withdrew her appeal, they put one right back. I do. It is. It's your appeal is on top of another appeal. Your appeal is on top of another appeal. And your appeal is whether or not I should throw them out. And I said, yeah, get them out. And you want to save them, and you appeal that. So that's where we at now. Because I ain't out to save them. I'm out to get through this agenda and every other committee without these two. And if you want to aid and abet it, that's your business. So that's the appeal. Whether or not I'm finna throw her out. You trying to save her. Now, let's see what she going to say. Because I'm about ready to vote. Oh, point of what? I got a point of what? Uh, we can't continue with this argument of discourse. It's very disrespectful. Now, we can have a discussion. We can have a conversation. But this is very disrespectful. And why would the mayor come if it's going to be an argument of discourse? Please, Councilman Mays, I beg of you, please, patiently, please. You could get your point across, but we cannot have that argument of tone and voice. That's very disrespectful to department. Here. Well, let me try it this way, Mr. David, because it's very disrespectful when the mayor and his guy lie and talk to me and put stuff out there in the public that's very insulting and disrespectful. So if that's all it is, the tone, let's try this tone. Mr. Edwards. Can you name the five appointees that don't require council approval? As many as you can, please, right now, sir. I sent the, I did send the information to the council president. I'm part of the council, and I asked you to put it in my mailbox if you had to put it on a piece of notebook paper that ain't showed up yet, so I'm not mistaken, everybody. Well, remember, we're going to talk like this and try to get this business done. Point of information, if I may, Mr. Mays. Madam President. Uh, Mr. Mays, are you aware that 
Mr. Edwards did not just send it to the council president, he sent it to all of council. Let me say this in response to your point of information, which you go back and look at the tape and I told them to write it and put it in my mailbox on a piece of notebook paper if they had to, Ms. Galloway. I've been doing it for six years since I've been here. They did not turn it into the staff and put it in my mailbox. And I'm gonna tell Mr. Davis again for the record, that's what I request. And if you email it to the staff, I get emails from Hershey's Chocolate and everybody else. Call it to the staff's attention, print it out, and put it in my mailbox. It's too many emails. So that's what I requested, and I'm still talking like that. I, I, take, I would damn near take the rest. This shit is ridiculous. You ain't got to put up with none of it. I'm going to get my damn coat. You ain't going to keep removing me from my elected seat. You need to stay out of this police business. You need to stay out of the police business. This is an arrest. I, my freedom of movement is restricted. It's an arrest. This is an arrest. You can laugh, but it ain't funny, Madam Chair. Y'all keep laughing. Keep on laughing. He who laughs 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 best. I'm going to fight for my war. Y'all got to be some damn fools. And the city of Flint got to be foolish for sitting looking at this repeatedly. Repeatedly. It's dead wrong and it's documented wrong. Don't talk about I can't say Jackie Poplar, Scott Kincaid, Kerry Nelson, Juan Twelve Davis. I'm gonna clean up the first war, and I'm gonna clean up y'all just like I cleaned them up. I'm gonna clean y'all up. Well, what the, what I'm doing? Then? Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Well, why are you standing here? You came to remove me because you was directed to correct? I know. I'm not asking for what you did. That's what I So I can't resist your arrest. Well, what is it then? If my freedom of movement is restricted, it's an arrest. And if I resist the arrest, I'm going to be double arrest. All right, well, I just want to clear for the record. See them cameras? You need to remove me, correct? Go on, MTA. 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 But when Miss Fields and Mr. Kincaid Point of order, Madam Chair. I knew that Mr. was coming. Mr. Mays is just rambling. Some tree rambling? Miss <laughs> Fields, I object to you really? call my American English rambling. Do you believe when black folks talk English that we rambling? Point of order that you say I'm rambling? I'll just wait, Madam Chair, because I'm saying it go crazy. If you're out of listening to her talk, and she doesn't call my talk rambling, is it because I'm black?
point of order, Madam Chair. I got the flow. She interrupted me to say I was a rambling um, African-American counselor. I'm not rambling, Madam Chair. You called me rambling. She, I didn't call her rambling. I adamantly object to this race discrimination at this stage. I object. Madam Chair, can you get order? What is she talking about? Madam Chair, point of order. I appeal the ruling of the chair. I appeal the ruling of the chair. What's going on with this? What's going happen here? Point of order here. What's going happen here? Point of order here. What's going happen here? I didn't interrupt. What point of order, Madam Chair? What's going happen here? I appeal the ruling of the chair. What's going on? I appeal the point of order. What's going on here? Point of order. Point of order. What's going on? Lower your volume. I'm not going to lower my volume you're because you're going to hear what I got to say. You're out of order, Ms. And you're out of order. Raise your voice. Miss Fields, you're out of order. Why are you messing with that chair? Point of order. Screaming is not allowed. Decorum is I am expected. sick and tired of it's you. In the this charter. is every time we have a meeting. It's in the charter. Forget the charter. Forget parliamentary procedures. Let's talk about respect. And you. I hope the cameras are catching we are, we, we are. talking to the cameras. I hope they are. Because this has to stop. Yes, it does. You have to stop. Madam Chair. This is ridiculous. And talk about something needs, this council needs education. I can point out a couple of people on this council that need to be educated. Madam Chair. You know what? Um, Grants Committee, I am going to adjoin Grants Committee. Can I get a um, second on that? I'm, I'm, I would I'm move done. The, I would move to adjourn Grants Committee. You know what? You know I would, what? A motion to adjourn is always in order. A motion to adjourn is in order. Yeah, Madam you know Chair, I would move to adjourn Grants. Can I get a second to that? Then we back on the appeal, if it ain't gonna be second. And I wanna speak on it. Go ahead. Uh, Miss Fields need to quit picking and Cause, messing cause with she chairs. Mess with the wrong person. I'm trying she to tell you She doing it over and, and over, her and Eva. And Eva then seconded and left. It, I'm tired of it. And it's a way to fix it. If they continue, then I'm going to request that we have a hearing for cause. And I'm going to try to put together the votes to remove them for cause. That's what I'm going to do. Point of order, threats. No, it's a promise. When you got folks calling black folks racist, misogynist, and then they appealing each other for cause, I'm going to ask that they be removed and we have a four hearing a four cause hearing like we did Daryl Buchanan for ombudsman. And I'll take my chances with them votes. Amen. And I'll start with her, Eva, and Monica. Because they're not going to tear up these meetings picking at the chairs. I listen to them in my meeting talking about this guy need to be removed. Santino. They hold my that just like right that. now she talking. Just talking. Santino. And that's why I'm saying, Santino, I wouldn't get caught up in they mess. It ain't just me. It's Winfrey Carter, 
But you, Santino, we'll be cool with you and your me. Right. Now, the meetings is adjourned again for lack of a quorum. When you got some folks, and I'm going to say it, it's the same couple of them, Fields, Worthen, and Greaves. This meeting is adjourned for lack of a quorum. And that's the city of Flint. 